up, up everyone welcome back to another video and yes i have not pulled for blade and i won't be pulling for blade after testing him trying him out both in the trial and also borrowing my friends yes thank you so much honkai star you have a feature where you can literally skip characters borrow your friends and play them see what they build and yes this person has an e5 blade with his signature weapon and everything so some footage you're gonna see of that but i'm gonna be showcasing him through the trials and talking about some of the more intricate numbers with this character and uh, whether you should be picking him or not because it's way more complex and just get him he's hot don't get him he sucks whatever but let's go into this character all right so blade had received multiple nerves prior to his release but the man is still a beast of a unit truly he is and i'm not just saying this because it's easy to sell characters and get a successful video out there when you praise the living daylights out of there he's strong he's very strong however a lot of people likely will misunderstand like how this character functions because he's a mixed scaling character and whenever i hear mixed scaling character the first thing i think of is like jin yan from genshin impact and let me tell you mixed scaling character even in genshin they haven't really figured them out till this day like they don't work very well but with blade it's a little more clear cut even though you may be led to believe otherwise what do i mean by that so the two mix scaling for Blade is attack and HP. So this, in essence, is very straightforward. Build some attack, build some of HP. But no, it's not really as balanced as 50-50. Blade scales off of HP. Attack is only in there as like a little boost. Like it takes up less than 10, 15% of his total damage scaling yes it is that minuscule like just if you play genshin impact think of him as hu tao that's basically what it is like think of him as hu tao a lot of people are like oh this isn't like what about zhao while his design is more akin to zhao his inner kit and functions is much more akin to hu tao and just like hu tao blade is an extremely picky main carry so now let's get into the fight here so here's the thing with blade all right he is superb at dealing with single target or group target now maybe it's not proper to say he's superb or amazing as single target he's good but aoe target he is amazing because of his inner kit and design he's also not that skill hungry of a unit however when it comes to his teammates depending on what lycone you're using it also could have some sort of restrictions for example right a lot of people free to plays especially would say like oh my god the arlon lycone is so good right i'm gonna be using the arlon lycone and i'm gonna be just cruising for free but a lot of people don't understand it's like oh did you pull for locha right if you pull for locha and you think like oh i'm gonna use the arlon lycone with blade to have this wonderful synergies because he's gonna be burning house i'm gonna get attacked and he's gonna be like activating the secondary effect of the light cone and i'm gonna get a ton of bonus but once you realize wait a freaking minute i'm playing my blade with freaking locha how am i ever gonna be activating the second half of this free-to-play light cone right so here's the first dilemma now another dilemma some people would have is what about his team what about his teammates so let's just pretend like obviously i don't have him let's start from scratch let's say clara is blade what are you gonna build off of it remember i said earlier a lot of people will be like oh what about you know like the easy one ting and some free to play should have this right and of course yukong everybody gets one for free immediately these two characters are not ideal to pair with blade is you see like what what the hell man <laughs> well now who, who pairs well with blade we'll, we'll get there remember i said attack doesn't scale off of him that well and especially with someone like ting sure you can get his burst back a little faster which okay <laughs> like not not that important to be honest but looking at someone like yukong now she's very restrictive to use right now it's very difficult to pair her flawlessly with characters now yes there is a scenario if you play blade in a double dps team with proper speed adjustment for yukong blade and the other dps yes you can get a scenario where you always go with yukong then blade then somebody else or somebody else then blade these double dps's eat up yukong's buff incredibly easily and efficiently but that's a topic for another video so it leaves us with little option except for maybe somebody like i don't know branya again back to madam branya who's another character right so if those free-to-play harmony characters doesn't work then what about nihility nihility units have to work and you would be correct in this case it would be better to 
shred enemies than to try and buff up blade because we don't have like a straight up hp buffer yet keyword being yet <laughs> that's gonna come one day but for example somebody like where's where is she pella where's where's pella? where's pella i don't have pella there she is okay somebody like pella would work fine as a free-to-play alternative now i'm just gonna give you guys three seconds to guess who is the five-star alternative to pella three to one it is you guys did silver wolf right so i talked about this when i made my silver wolf video is that silver wolf is going to be a character that ages like wine in Honkai star real now i'm sure it didn't take a genius to figure this out the more characters we have in the game the more variety we start having in the game the more valuable silver wolf starts becoming for the people who have her you're going to be able to use her with pretty much every single unit that comes out from now until like whenever they decide to nerf Silverwolf's unique application in the game. Blade is after Silverwolf as well. So here's the thing, right? We're starting to get to a situation where it feels like if you want to play Blade and you want to play him efficiently, at the very least, between Silverwolf and Branya, Silverwolf is replaceable with Pella, but Branya seems to be like the, the currently best option to pair with him as a harmony or just a general support. And Branya is a popular support that you want to pair with other units as well. So currently we're at a situation where, yes, we have a lot of DPS options. Kafka's coming up soon, right? And then we have the, the, the Danhun 5-star, the imaginary one coming as well. And it seems like most of them want to fight for Silverwolf, and Branya. Now, granted, there are alternatives to Branya in other teams like Jing Yuan can go with Ting Yuan amazingly, so you don't need Branya in that team. But at the same time, Blade, with his abysmally slow base speed, would absolutely love someone like Branya to be on his team. Now, if you have Seal it and you have Blade, now you're having a situation where, well, you're gonna pair Branya with Seal it or with Blade. I'm not gonna make that decision for you. That's up to to you now of course we can close off the team rosters with silver wolf and locha this is gonna be pretty much the bona fide best in slot team for blade i don't even need to think twice when i say this because a lot of other options just don't work very well now yes if you don't have locha but you have something like bailu can work as well there's a unique mechanic if you guys didn't know if blade reaches his max stack but somehow got his ass kicked in the process meaning he's dead now bailu's passive reviving him will revive revive him with the max stacks which he can then exercise onto the enemy so that's a little bit of a unique interaction for those of you guys who didn't know so bailu actually isn't a bad option and of course if we keep going down the list of course we got natasha and in the future we're gonna have links the four star quantum healer if you want to pair it with him as well now you've noticed i haven't talked about preservation this goes back to my point saying blade is extremely extremely picky with his teammates you guys may not like it when i say it but preservation units with blade in general is just in my opinion anti-synergy you're actively preventing him from gaining stacks through the shielding now march 7th shield has a taunting feature so that's amazing for characters like clara who just want to get hit doesn't matter if they lose health but blades passive only stacks if he loses health so if you're shielding blade sure you're drawing aggro towards him which would be amazing but then the shield absorbs all the damage he doesn't lose any health and sure you can still stack his ultimate which is good but you know you're preventing a very important part of his kit from activating so this is why characters like jeopard characters like march 7th i honestly would not play with blade but that doesn't mean future preservation units cannot be played with them it's just depending on how their kits work whether they feed into his strength or actively take away from it now of course with this update came with his best in slot relic that's of no surprise and the orb as well as the rope from the simulated universe honestly like i said in the very beginning of the video i have nothing against the guy he is a little more restrictive and more difficult in my opinion to build as he competes with a lot of other other dps options if not if not most other dps options for some of the best supports in the game and it's almost as if he has to have these supports it's not like well jing yuan can play with jeopard can play with bailu can play with locha right silver wolf can be flexed into so many different teams if not every single team and silly apart from branya everybody else could be interchangeable they don't care but blade really wants branya to make sure that he can get off the ground and into the faces of enemies as well as maybe someone like silver wolf to help with his single target a little bit as well as applying additional weakness as wind right now isn't necessarily the strongest in the meta now that could change and i'm sure that will change it's just right now 
with a lot of these monsters not having wind weakness you're really having to pick and choose when you're really leveraging the power of blade but of course if you have a silver wolf on your team that goes out the window now if you don't have locha like i mentioned earlier there are plenty of other healing options it really doesn't have to be locha so without silver wolf pella without locha you can use natasha there are interchangeable units but in my opinion going forward and far into the future Blade likely will work better as a support DPS. And I say that because he's actually incredibly skill point efficient. The man doesn't really have to use his skill at all. Like eventually he's going to be able to activate his passive and deal tons of damage to the enemy just passively. The man is a damage dealing machine and he doesn't even need skill points for it. So that's where I think Blade's true end game i'm talking like multiple patches into the future where he likely will end up residing comfortably even at c0 with free to play weapons now does that mean that's the only way to play him no this is what makes him a great character the flexibility to play him as a main carry or as a support carry will actually believe it or not help hold him in high regards throughout many iterations of the meta going forward and that concludes my general video for Blade. Yes, I am not polling for him, but it's not because I don't like him or I don't think he's strong. In fact, I wish I could poll him, but I wholeheartedly do not think it is a good idea for my account to continue wailing for these characters for no reason. After looking at my Genshin account, I have like 80% of the characters I don't even use. Now I think I really need to take a step back and reevaluate why I'm polling for these characters. Now that I don't want Blade is I don't need Blade. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to tune into the live stream later today where we can talk more about Blade and other things. Bonkai Star Rail. Until then, Urjota, stay safe. Peace, peace. Bye bye.